Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We had a great run last time as Samson, which means that we are due for an Azazel run. All we gotta do is get through Azazel, Lazarus, Eden, and then we get back to the top of the list. So maybe I won't do a lost run when I come to him this time. Well, it depends. We'll see what our streak is. A K W D Y N Y X. Let's do it. Uh, on an XL floor, normally you would not go to that curse room right off the bat, but we're Lazar or sorry, we're Azazel. Too many Zeds. Too many Zeds, too many Zeds. That could be like a Too Many Cooks zombie parody. It would be the next, you know, 5 million hit video on YouTube in case you're interested. Hey, for one more bomb, we could actually enter Isaac's room, and there's uh, potentially, you know, a black market or a crawl space in there. I'm going to start calling them crawl spaces so people know what the heck I'm talking about. And for once, maybe I'll actually notice it, right, guys? <laughs> oh, I need to get my eyes checked. Anyway, good natured ribbing aside, I'm not going to go to the curse room right off the bat. Because I want to make sure that I am uh, going to keep as much HP as possible for what I assume is going to be a deal with the devil. What should be a deal with the devil on this floor anyway, unless I die. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a 100% it's chance for a deal with the devil unless I die. So hopefully we can end up picking up some uh, spirit hearts in the process. Unfortunately, we have not found any extra rock tinteds or anything like that. I'll tell you what, we'll fight the boss first. Just the first boss. Then we'll explore the rest of the floor. Do you hear that? Kate, is everything okay? I hear like some people screaming. Huh? What? What are you talking about? I think she's live and streaming right now and I'm just annoying her. Which is perfect. That's you know the husband and wife dynamic that you want to get. I apologize for yelling into the microphone. Anyway. Getting latch key right off the bat is pretty good. It does open us up to a potential deal with the devil. I don't want to open this special room until we actually get another bomb, because I might be able to use these bombs to open up tinted rocks or something instead, which would be more valuable. You know, there's not much use... Ah, uh, there we go. There's not much use for us actually getting into that room. There's a tinted rock. Unless we can actually take advantage of it. I still think the tinted rocks are probably more valuable for us, and that's a pretty good example of that. Uh, and we have double item room action happening here. So after this, we'll probably go and take advantage of our boss fights and also uh, Isaac's room but we should also hmm dad's key is okay does dad's key open up the Isaac's room that would be interesting and infamy you know honestly all things considered that's a pretty good haul here my number one thing that gets me as Azazel is playing too quickly and that's entirely on me that's not Azazel's fault I play too quickly and I you need to play this sounds completely counterintuitive but I think you need to play a little bit conservatively as Azazel due to his low range. That's not to say he's not a great character and you can't play quickly. Rather, just that, you know, if you play carelessly, you do end up taking a lot of damage as a result of the fact that you have to be right next to enemies in order to make it work. I should have... Why didn't I use Dad's key there? No, better save it. Could come in handy later. That is just a trip down to the next floor, but we did get an HP upgrade out of this room, so all things considered, three bombs for an HP upgrade is pretty good. Uh, if we get another HP upgrade from our boss fight, we might have a couple of red hard deals with the devil instead of spirit hard deals with the devil, which would honestly be better for me. Fistula. I've been fighting Fistula a lot recently. After not fighting Fistula very much at all to start things. See, I don't, I don't really know if it's best to be breaking these fistula parts open over these rocks here, but it seems to be, you know, neutralizing a lot of the silkworms that we'd otherwise have to face. Magic mushroom, okay, this is going very well so far. And we can take both of these. So we will take Brimstone and Horror of Babylon, which gives us shocking damage and now unlimited range. And let's just head down to the next floor. I know there's a curse room available. That's all right. What, are we trying to become guppy? Who are we trying to impress? I will go to this curse room, though, because I'm full of shit. Left hand will make it so that um, I am in a position where red chests actually are more prevalent and thus maybe that guppy dream is alive, but I guess I should have gone to the curse room on the last floor. This is a, a staggeringly good start to a run. You, you almost probably could not ask for a better series of items to get. Magic mushroom and then, you know, FADC that into... Ech. FADC that into, uh, you know, a Brimstone Horror of Babylon pickup. That's pretty extraordinary. Counterfeit Penny, I don't think beats left hand, but we can pick up Counterfeit Penny on this room, and then that money goes a little bit further than it otherwise would have. 
So I'm not I'm not worried about breaking any uh, you know speed run records or anything like that. Just winning is the most important thing. Keep the streak going here. We have a a, a fantastic potential on this run. I hesitate to call it a one run just yet, but certainly this is more powerful than like probably 50% of my runs ever get. I'm not going to pick up technology just because I'm worried that um, it might fuck up my brimstone. So, although I understand that the uh, the synergy could be interesting, but probably won't be, uh, I, I want to stay as safe as possible. Well, the left hand has not worked out fantastically for us thus far. Inside of here we have BFF, which I will absolutely pick up. Mm, if we can. PhD is probably better because it comes with a pill and we've been getting some pills, but our pills have been very good so far anyway. Maybe it'd be nice to just get an extra pill out of it though. Let's not take this just in case we get the uh, the money to make PhD worthwhile. The stars. Uh, is that better than the fool card? I guess I guess technically if we're using it for boss rush purposes, yes it is. And then in all other contexts is better than the fool card anyway. Let's fight our boss though. Gertie, this is a good test because Gertie has a decent amount of HP. If we could see how much damage we are able to do and how quickly we are able to kill Gertie, this is actually extraordinary. Normally this fight would take a lot longer than that, obviously. Little Steven and a deal with the devil I probably can't take, so I hope it's Krampus. It is not Krampus, but we can take... If we take the Pact, we won't die, we'll have two hearts. Then we can take nine lives. And now we'll have one red heart. My thinking there was, hey, why not get the pack for free? And also, I love nine lives. I think it's a great item. Obviously, who doesn't, right? In this day and age. Right, Nick? Sacrifice not really all that much in the whole scheme of things. We sacrifice some, uh... There we go. We sacrifice some, uh... Spirit hearts. No big deal. So I'm gonna take PhD. Remember that there is a pill that drops. I often forget. That's another tiers upgrade. Uh, we're not in the Whore of Babylon state anymore, so that's the other thing we did sacrifice. I guess I'll be looking... Ooh. I guess I'll be looking to get back there. Hopefully we're able to do so. I don't think we can just take that deal at all, but I appreciate that it gave me the opportunity to do so. Uh, with one bomb, let's check this out. Now all we need, uh, in order to, to really get back to the highest damage we could possibly be doing... I mean, I guess the... Ah, the moon card's not necessarily... But, eh, maybe it is, whatever. But I'm going to stick with the Fool card because I know it. You know, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. But I don't know very many devils in this game, so uh, maybe I should just shut my mouth, right? I don't know why, but I have a feeling that there's maybe like a crawl space in here. It just, you know, six uh, rocks for one bomb is not a great trade, but it seemed like it could work there. And that's going to do it for this floor. I'm extremely happy with the way that it's gone down. I would love to become Guppy on this run, of course. We did lose our Horror of Babylon state, but that's the thing with Horror of Babylon. You know, easy come, easy go. We'll uh, hopefully be able to get back down to that state in the future. But for now, at 6 minutes and 42 seconds, we have uh, a staggering cavalcade of great items, and we will be moving down to the next floor with the highest of hopes that we will be succeeding on this run. Especially if we can get Guppy's Paw. Why am I not using Dad's Key to open shit? I'm so mad at myself slightly. I, I'm not really genuinely mad at myself, you know, it's just a, it's a small oversight. I mean, we already have a, a surplus of keys, but I'm not trying to defend myself and say that, you know, it was the right decision to not use Dad's key, I'm just saying. We really don't need a AAA battery in this situation. AAA battery is uh, not really gonna help me out, considering I'm not using Dad's key very much to begin with. That would give uh, a one-room charge to it, though. We did get a deal with the devil again, much to my surprise. Alright, Magic Scab takes us to 2 HP, uh, which we will then trade away for some staggering damage. And all of a sudden, we now pretty much find ourselves uh, maybe with the highest damage, damage I've ever had in any run ever, and I mean that sincerely. Yeah, this, especially considering we're only on the Caves of the Catacombs Part 2, this is kind of disgusting. The, the amount of damage that we're going to be doing to enemies here. And this is where, you know, you might consider yourself to be in... Potentially speedrun territory, if that's the kind of thing that you're into. We just one-shot greed. I used a key to open the greed boss fight. Look, as always, do as I say, not as I do. I recognize that I'm an idiot. We went from 1 HP to the HP cap with 9 lives in one floor, plus the damage. Did I, I showed you the seed. You... I mean, it depends on your perspective. My philosophy is that you should not play this seed, because it might just not challenge your... Uh, your sensibilities here. It's a little too easy, maybe. Why not fight every single room that we encounter? Because we literally just, well, we basically one-shot Fistula. The Haunt, you should have showed up a couple floors ago. You might have actually been 
a little bit of a, a detriment, but for now, how about I just one-shot you instead? This is a staggeringly useful run. Or a staggeringly powerful run, of course it's useful. Forget that judgment, uh, I'll save our money for the shop instead, you know, it's got a more guaranteed payout. The red chests are not being truly stellar thus far, and I have to keep Dad's key no matter what we get now, unless we get like Tammy's head, because that's absurd. Um, but I'll, I'll keep the Dad's key in 90% of the situations where spacebar items show up now, because I think we should fight Mega Satan, because we're going to kick the shit out of him. There's Guppy's paw right there, which I actually don't want anymore, but... Uh, it does take us a little closer to becoming Guppy. And it's the thought that counts. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I asked for Guppy's paw eight rooms ago, and you gave it to me just now, and we have already rendered it obsolete. So that's on you, game, for honestly being a little bit slow with your payouts here. I am being facetious, of course. Now we do have the free item almost definitely coming in our uh, boss rush room. What do you pay out? Yeah, I was going to say, just a second left hand. I think we've even had that situation before, and every time I'm like, whoa, that's weird. Okay, just be very, very slightly cautious. But now as Azazel, remember when I was like, oh, you need to be a little cautious as Azazel, because yada, yada, yada. No, you, not anymore. We have unlimited range, effectively. Uh, let's put it this way. Our range is only limited by the actual, like, number of... Uh, oh, he's invisible. By the, the size of the actual rooms in the game. So I can pretty much stand wherever I want. And, uh, you know, it, it helps that you're killing enemies in less than one hit as well. Sure, I can see forever. Help us find the secret room right off the bat where we're going to get uh, three puberty pills and two tears up, I think. No, one speed up, one tears up. That's fine. We're at 945 and it's already depths one. Not the fastest we've ever gone, but it's it's definitely up there. Pandora's box on depths one is just spirit hearts. So I'm going to ignore it. And also, I totally should have used dad's key there. What is wrong with me? Um, we, we could get four spirit hearts out of it, but I'd rather save our money and maybe use it in the shop on the next floor. We already fought that mini boss, yeah. First, that's how easy it was. I was like, did we really fight a mini boss? Yes, we did. It was uh, Ultra Pride. Now, four spirit hearts is definitely worth uh, getting for 15 cents if we could make use of them, which we can't. Oh, man. I took damage there. Infamy kind of went off once, though. That was, I guess, a nice touch. And we'll get another key. We're very lucky that we haven't been, you know, rolling low on keys considering that I'm not using Dad's key to open any rooms. There we go, finally. Dad's key helped us get the bomb bag for free. Aw, yeah, that is not entirely worthless. But still not very good in the whole scheme of things. Well, on a normal run, that could be something that's actually kind of important. You know, it could add up to bombs. Those bombs open up uh, tinted rocks for you by opening up as many tinted rocks as possible. Maybe you get the one spirit heart that uh, takes you over the limit so you can actually beat the game. But in our current situation, that is irrelevant because whenever we find an enemy that we dislike, we just uh, completely shatter them. Hey, we actually did manage to get that. I was a little concerned. All right. War did not die in one hit. Did not die in two hits. Will die in three hits. Now, where's our deal with the devil? No, nope, no deal with the devil. So I, I complained on Twitter. I was like, people told me you can get a deal with the devil with dad's key, but it didn't work. Um, and then uh, people on Twitch said, hey. Did I say Twitter? I meant to say Twitch. Um, people on Twitch said, hey, it does actually give you a chance to open a deal with the devil. I still don't know if that's true. I've never had it happen. But there you go. You know, straight out of the horse's mouth is... Um, Perhaps a rumor. I don't like being the person who is the source of misinformation. I'm just saying, if you're wondering, the jury is still out for me. I have no idea whether or not uh, you can actually open up a deal with the devil with Dad's key. There are people who swear that they've seen it done. Until I see it firsthand, I remain a little skeptical, but... Oh, there's a red chest in there. Just flies, but those flies are going to be pretty potent. And uh, I, I will probably play the judgment here, but I really, really do not want to get... Um, that's Pisces, or... I, I'm not gonna take it. And this is where my ignorance comes through, but at least I'm aware of my ignorance. I don't know if this is Pisces or Cancer. If it's Pisces, it's a tears upgrade with some knockback. The knockback would be irrelevant because we have, uh, Brimstone. However, if it's Cancer, that gives us an HP upgrade. It also gives us the, um... The PhD effect, but we already have the PhD. So I think in the interest of just keeping myself in the best possible position, I'm just going to choose to ignore it. That might be the wrong decision, but it's probably not going to make a big difference in the whole scheme of things. 
Honestly, we really do not need the 9 volt, but I'll take it anyway. And uh, then we'll just go, I guess. And we're pretty much done with this floor. We're going to take left hand with us. And if there is a benevolent god in the universe, they will recognize that we are already about to win. Please just give us Guppy so that we can make this as ridiculous as possible. I would love it. Now we're going to teleport out of our boss rush room with the Fool card, obviously. We're going to take the Polaroid. We're going to check out our Devil Room. Yeah, Rotten Baby seems like a decent pickup. Our flies are going to do crazy damage. Necronomicon does not seem like a decent pickup. And then in here, uh, Sacrificial Dagger, Anti-Gravity. Honestly, for all these, I kind of think... I'm actually going to take Harlequin Baby. The thing is, like, I, I don't think that I'm going to be close enough to uh, use Sacrificial Dagger. I'm definitely not taking Fetus in a Jar. Anti... I'm going to skip him. Why not? Well, why is a better answer, but why not? Um, Anti-Grav is okay, but I had it recently, and uh, it, it kind of... You have to plan for your shots a little bit more appropriately. You know, a little bit more in advance. Oh, no deal with the devil on this floor. Not a useful one, anyway. Um, so, I think, honestly, Harlequin Baby, a relatively minor upgrade, but... If we're getting it for free, who really cares, right? You may disagree with that one. I think Anti-Grav is probably going to be the consensus choice, followed by Sacrificial Dagger. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I agree. Sacrificial Dagger is a better item in almost every circumstance than Harlequin Baby. In our very unique circumstance, in which I never intend on being close to any enemies at all, I think I'm just going to have to say that I agree to disagree and that uh, I'm happy to have Harlequin Baby as a little bit of a helper. A very little bit of a helper, but a helper nonetheless. Rotten Baby from the Devil Room is a, a much bigger pickup for us, and one that I'm very excited about. Those flies will help if we don't become Guppy, which is not going to happen on this floor, unless we fight a uh, Double Fallen in our first boss room, which it does happen. I recognize that there's a bomb there. Recognize that I don't need to use bombs, because when I shoot an enemy, they die. Typically right away. Still no Guppy. I'm not that surprised by it. Uh... And, okay, I'll just shoot. I, honestly, I'm not that uh, uh, put off by it either. I mean, we're, we're still in a fantastic situation. I mean, look at the damage that I'm doing here. It's kind of disgusting. The fact that I have Rotten Baby as well, you know, the Rotten Baby flies will do two times the damage of one tick of Brimstone, which is significant, for sure. Fool card again. We could have used that to get out of the curse room. We can do that on a future floor, perhaps. Somehow I had a worse fight against uh, that fistula than I did earlier. I guess we haven't upped our damage in a couple of floors. God, game's so unkind to me. I'm going to be fighting Conquest first uh, for a passive ability to fly. I'm going to go ahead and say that we're not going to make good use of that. And then it lives where we didn't quite one-shot Mom's Heart, but we're not too far away. Yeah, we're at 15 minutes here. You know, it's not going to break any speed records or anything like that, but it's a great run nonetheless. We can already start looking forward to that... Um, yeah, we, I mean, yeah, why don't we just do that? Mmm. Mmm. I don't want to reroll everything. I forget what two does, to be honest with you. I'm just psyched to have become Guppy here, uh, obviously. Anyway, um, I don't know what's going on in that other room. It's freaking me out, though. Um, we can already start looking forward to that Lazarus run that's coming up next. My dream is that we can continue our streak. Eden's a little bit more of a crapshoot. Lazarus, at least you have a chance, you know? We did get a deal with the devil on this floor. We can make do with Gimpy. Now I'm going to drop the left hand. And uh, I just want to make sure that we can actually get items in the chest. Oftentimes I put myself behind the eight ball there. And we are going to fight Mega Satan. So it would be good for us to get a little bit more um, HP. Particularly Spirit Hearts. Or maybe exclusively Spirit Hearts. Come on. Come on. Come on. But uh, to be straight with you. I think we can probably beat Mega Satan only getting hit once. It might be a little bit of a tall order, but I think it's conceivable. Like we're, we're doing the same thing on every other enemy here. Um, that is, that's Virgo. I mean, Virgo's not bad. It gives us the Celtic Cross effect, which is actually advantageous even if you have permanent Polaroid invincibility, because if the Celtic Cross effect works, it works better. Um, it, it works longer, I guess I should say. We'll check this out, hopefully for some Spirit Hearts. We got some pills and two Spirit Hearts, well worth it. I can see forever. And uh, health upgrade, which I actually don't want to take. We'll fool the card out just to save ourselves some HP, and then we'll move back in this general direction. The HP upgrade isn't the end of the world, because we can um, we can do it and just not pick up red hearts. But do you trust me to do that? I don't trust me to do that. 
Very sorry. Do you see how quickly our flies took out the fallen? That was really good. Yeah, and similarly for war right here. Okay, Dark Bomb. If you could show up, that would be fantastic, but feel a little bit bad, you know, begging for any items right now, considering the situation. Flies are gonna tear your butt open. You actually did get to do one attack, which I'm a little bit surprised with, but... All right. So how do I handle a chest floor with this much damage? Uh, usually I like to fight Blue Baby first, and then go fight Mega Satan, just to... Just to do everything, just because it's fun. Okay, pills. Uh, Taurus is alright. Satanic Bible is alright. Experimental treatment, I don't like at all. Range upgrade. Not really that worthwhile. But Taurus is good. Satanic Bible is good. And what we'll do is actually take Satanic Bible around uh, room to room. So that we can generate a few extra spirit hearts. Or, you know, black hearts. I really doubt that it's going to be the kind of thing that's relevant. We are also getting Taurus, like, right away. Which is actually kind of a bad thing, because I would... Rather just be shooting Brimstone, but we're generating Taurus in like a second. Yeah, with it like barely even moving. Ah, uh, it's, it's pretty good though. I can't really complain. Like look at that instant uh, invincibility basically against the bloat, which is why I was not concerned about his shots. I'm hoping that we maybe managed to pick up... Uh... I forgot we had 9 volt by the way, so we're getting a little bit of a faster charge here than I'd expect. But uh, I was hoping that... Uh... We'd get that invincibility against the bloat. That was like, you know, two rooms ago, so I almost can't even remember what was happening. Mega Fatty stands no chance. Oh, are you going to be the first? You are actually the first enemy to live through that. I'm surprised. But, you know, I was a little bit nervous that we'd not be able to generate flies, but we're still generating flies extraordinarily quickly. Uh, and, you know, considering how quickly we can kill the enemies, it's good. You know, the... The, um... The sped up version of this song at times kind of sounds like the uh, Danny Elfman score for the original Batman, well not original Batman, but like the 1989 or 1992, whatever it was, uh, Michael Keaton Batman movie. It's freaking me out. You hear it a little bit? I hear it a little bit. Now the strength card is uh, not going to be too meaningful for us. Also sounds like some just fucked up carnival jams from time to time. The Mega Satan fight, I'm actually very excited by the fact that we'll only be able to get Taurus once during that, because honestly, as good as Taurus is, it's actually slightly slowing me down just because of the speed at which I can get through these enemies. I can't believe that we're going to finish this whole run in all likelihood. Well, maybe not in all likelihood, but we'll probably finish this whole run like a minute slower than if we had just wanted to get the boss rush. That happens as Azazel sometimes, but it feels particularly good. So we can pop this. I really doubt we're going to need to do this, but let's do it. You know, we'll pick this up. Makes us, uh... Well, Callus is meaningless, because I don't think there's any spikes on the ground on these rooms. And we're already immune to, to creep because we can fly. Oh, double cage. I love to hate you. That's another tears upgrade, which is kind of ridiculous at this point. There's our boss room. I didn't even move and I still got Taurus. I thought it only built when you actually moved, but uh, maybe it... Increases at a different rate or something like that. All right, so I'll come in here again. This is how Taurus slows me down a little bit here, you know. But one more hit should probably kill you, with the flies generated from it at least. Good stuff. So instead of just leaving there, we are going to go fight Mega Satan. Not as easy of a run. Ah, you know what? Let's get one more uh, Satanic Bible charge. It'll take about a quarter of a second here. Clearly, I have no concept of time. And then we'll come back here, and our spawn room is right here. So we will take that's key. I'm not taking experimental treatment. I don't want the HP upgrade. I also don't want this strength card. Let's do it. Taurus is already working. Great. That means I don't have the period of invincibility on Mega Satan, which is honestly fine by me. I would rather uh, just use Brimstone, because the flies that we generate are worth way more than the invincibility. I didn't even know that there was a second boss there. I, I hadn't hit it at all. Alright, how about you this time? We generate like 70 flies every time we hit an enemy. Like, this is... Super Envy is normally like, ugh, Super Envy. Even if you're doing high damage, you're like, this is going to be tedious. Nope. Not in our current situation. Not in our current situation at all. One Brimstone shot and like a quarter of the flies that come from it are enough to make Mega Satan be like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't necessarily blame him. Alright, there's phase one done. Yeah, this this might genuinely be the most damage I've ever done on a run, which is just silly. I love it. 
Now, you don't spawn any more mini-bosses after that, so I'm pretty sure that your shit is just straight up done. Goodbye, Mega Satan. It was fun while it lasted. Hey, thanks for watching. Our streak is going to continue. I enjoyed that run a great deal, as you might expect. I hope you did as well. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Next up, Lazarus. That counts as a streak win, right? I certainly hope so. If it doesn't, whatever. We beat Mega Satan. You guys know. In your heart of hearts, you know. Lazarus is coming up next. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.